Hello everyone. We continue to study awesome minor and in the last video I told you how to connect this manner to nice hash. Some of the subscribers wrote why update the miners in awesome minor if you can update the same miners in nice hash minor legacy or nice hash fort fix, but in fact everything is simple, awesome miner allows us to drip on nice hash with auto switches, and in addition it allows us to drip on various pools. As we know, NiceHash does not support all algorithms, there are coins that are not available for NiceHash, these are such coins, for example, as Vitom, as Jin, as Veil, vale, as Swap and others, I will not list them all quite a lot. In my example, I will show you how to connect the Vitom to Awesome Miner coin, where the yield on my RTX 2060 card will be higher than on all the algorithms that show us NiceHash. That is, Awesome Miner allows us to mine with auto switches, and also allows us to lure on various pools if the yield there is higher than actually on the nice hash itself. But now let's get down to how to do it. Go to Awesome Miner and let's check what the yield is now on nice hash on my 2060 card. Right click, click start. We see that Miner 1.39 has started. Algorithm Kakaru 29 coin grin we see that the yield is average, about 50 cents from the card, with appropriate acceleration. We will close mining. And let's add a Bitom coin, based on the Tansority algorithm, which is not available on nice hash. To do this, we go to Options, in the Managed Software section we see that there is Miner version 22.3. And it is with his help that we will dig the Bitom coin. We switch to algorithms and see that the Tensority algorithm is enabled, then we switch to online services, we need to add pools here, as standard, pools from NiceHash and various other multi-pools, such as Zpool, Mining Pool Hub, and so on, will be registered here. We need to register exactly the pool where we will dig the token Bitong. I will use a pool like F2 pool. What are we doing? We click the add button, select the Tensority algorithm here. Write the name of the F2 pool pool, write the pool URL and your wallet. In my case, I took a wallet from Buybox, insert it here and click OK. Then we go to the profit switching column, here we need to do the same, check the box, add this pool that we created. Now I will show you with a ready-made example, that is, we write that pool connection URL bitomf2pool.com9221, select coin bitom and also enter your wallet here, which we will dig into and click OK. We see that I have the nice hash service connected and now it will be connected to me in the pool for coins and bitom. Go to profit profiles, then select our profile for RTX 2060 and click edit. Here we choose a miner, we need an NB miner, I have it here, here it is turned on, here we choose the Tansority algorithm, because it is on this algorithm that the Bitom coin is minning, and we see that I don't have a tick here yet, I put it and click OK. Go to Tools and click Benchmark. I've already passed the benchmark, but nevertheless, I'll show you how to do it. Click the Tansority algorithm and click Start. We see that the benchmark process has started. Let's see what hash rate we will get now with the appropriate overclocking on my map. We all got about 6,300 hashes per second. Click save and click close. Now right click on the profile and click start. We see that miner has started. We see my wallet and also see the name of pool F2 pool and its code. Now let's see what the yield will be on this coin from my card with appropriate acceleration. We see that the statistics have been updated, I have a little less statistics here, generally in the region of 7000, well, since I have a screen capture going on now, my hash rate has sunk a little here, that is, we see that my profitability has already turned out to be 98 cents from the card. On nice hash, I remind you on grins there was something in the region of 50 cents, that is, while the Bitom coin on the RTX 2060 card is one of the most profitable, that is, this awesome miner shell allows us to switch very conveniently using nice hash algorithms. And if there are coins less profitable than those that are dug on Paloos, then he will switch to those coins that are more profitable. In general, on this I have all subscribed to the YouTube channel. Bye everyone.